it's me, Tempest. Welcome to MTV Cribs. <laughs> serious combo to discuss today. Not really, it's just about me. <laughs> Sorry, hold on one more time. Hey guys, it's me, E. Welcome to my channel, to IGTV, to all of you above. Uh, today we're gonna be going through a couple of questions that you guys have sent to me, many things that people have asked, and I'm glad to take the time today, right now, to go through it all and let you guys get to know me a little bit better really drink for you and for me guys it's, it's gonna be kind of interesting I'm born and raised in Los Angeles California I am an Angelino a native it's very nice to be one because out of every five people I meet probably four of them are not from Los Angeles I have one older sister she's almost four years older than I am uh, and that is it, it's just her and I. I love technology, I'm just so not tech savvy. I'm a little bit of an airhead or a bimbo, or maybe it's just because I'm a millennial, or maybe that's not an excuse, I don't know, either way. But no, you guys, I love tech, I just don't know very much about it. Well, to be honest, I mean, the alcohol is flowing, the ah, 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 ah. <laughs> has been flowing. So I feel great and it's Wednesday hump day and we are in my home, Queen T's Castle, which is never happy, you guys. So, cheers. Dumb and Dumber. Um, the wedding singer, all time favorite, Adam Sandler is the greatest. Horses, of course. So easy. Mexican, Italian, and Japanese. Yes! I love sushi. I love pasta. And I love me some guacamole, baby. <laughs> yes, I love Indian food. I love curry. I love garlic naan. I like their eggplant dishes. I just got a text to go eat Armenian food tomorrow, or Persian kebab, I should say. And if you know me, I love me some kebab. One, two, one, two, three, four. It really depends on what the circumstances are that we're giving a second chance to. I mean, we can give people the benefit of the doubt. Although it could be, uh, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. So that's a little touchy. Um, how about this, that, and the other, and everything in between? Maybe not everything in between, but this, that, and the other. <laughs> Guys, it's 2018. If you don't think people should be allowed to love and be with who they choose to, then you are living in the Stone Age. You might as well go back to not using Wi-Fi, not using mobile phones, and not having all the modern day luxuries that we have because if we can't be with who we love and who we want to be with, then that's ridiculous. It's 2018, folks. How about having both? It's 2018. Listen, love should be multiplied and not divided. <laughs> So yes, I did go to a Catholic all-girls school for about three years. It was my first experience with same-sex relationships and same-sex romance, I guess one could say. Childhood romance, obviously in high school, it's all puppy love. I believe there's a higher being and I believe there are spirits out there, whether or not it may be a ghost or some kind of all alternative phenomenon. Either way, there is definitely something beyond this life. Folks, we cannot rely on others 
to completely take care of ourselves. So my advice to everybody out there, if you aren't taking care of yourself, I don't even know what I'm who trying will? to Who will? Who will? Right, okay, one more time, babe. It's like this elderly lady told me a couple years ago when I sat at a bar by myself. She told me, listen, honey, no man or woman will ever cover all the bases. And you know what? That really resonated with me. So, folks, my point is, if you aren't taking care of yourself, then who will? Cheers, all y'all. I mean, you know, once you get into your 30s, honey, you've been dragged through the mud. We've all been dragged through the mud, honey. And you know, you get a little jaded. You get a little callous from all that dragging, girl. But either way, we're gonna still push forward. <laughs> I think the notebook, I just love the love story. And although I'm a little unemotional, your girl might have a little heart of stone, but I do love the whole premise of the notebook and I actually deep down want to believe that there is a fairy tale out there and all of us girls will find our true loves. Whether that'll happen in LA or not is TBD because if you know about LA, it's cold on these streets. It's real cold on these streets in LA, you guys. It's real cold. I wanted to thank all of you guys for spending your time with me and getting to know me a little bit more and i hope you guys stick around for the future because i am going to be showing a lot more of my personal life my daily kind of routine and just a little bit more of tea in the real world so to thank all of you guys for following me and all of your support i am going to be taking on a challenge that you guys yeah that you guys what so to thank all of you guys for following me and all of your support, I will be taking on a challenge from you guys that you guys have asked me to do. Please make sure it's a good one, extra creative, extra fun, and extra exciting because you guys will be the ones watching it. So stay tuned, hang on. This is going to be a bumpy ride with me, T. Cheers.